Hello and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. It is now nighttime. Let's what's the TV want? Today's exchange rate, the shifting economy has strengthened the dollar against the yen. The current exchange rate is one US dollar to one hundred and fifteen yen. The mark changes the yen the the, the yen's one point four percent weakening from yesterday. Cool. So I heard Mitsuru asked you to join the student council. Sorry if it felt like you were forced to join, but any help you could give her would be appreciated. Student council, huh? Well, as exciting as that sounds, I think I'll pass. Yes? As president of the student council, I'm really quite busy. In fact, I don't even have time to rest. I would be grateful if you could help out some time. Just stop by the student council room when you have the chance. But then what are you doing now? <laughs> I don't really have time for student council. Every minute is either spent studying, attending club, or fighting shadows. Speaking of which, you know about Mitsuru Senpai's- Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Yeah, you don't like Mitsuru, we get it. We're gonna go work at the Starbucks. Or the not Starbucks. Sugar Cafe. Part 10. Kalunima Shaka Cafe is sweated out while working part time as a waitress. You were given a cup of the cafe signature fair and coffee during your break. You try to see how many plates you could hold at once. You obtain 25 bucks for working part time. Yeah, the cafe incre always increases your charm and your courage, plus, you get money. And if you work at a place long enough, you get a raise. I think it's like three total raises or something like that. Good morning. Have you acclimated to our school yet? Yeah. I see. Your ability to adapt to new situations and environments is very impressive. By the way, there's something I forgot to tell you. Most times you can find me in the lounge. However, I won't be there if there's something I must attend to. So if I'm not in the lounge, we'll explore Tartarus the following day. Eh, it's, it, that's kind of weird. Weird it makes it sound like it's mandatory. It's not. It's just, you can't go that day. You can go the next day or whatever. Yeah, kind of feels weird running to you in the halls like this. Oh, hey, you free today? Wanna go see a movie? Yeah. I see. Well, if you're free, let's go. Let me know after school. Seems like Junpei doesn't have much to do after school. If a social link is ready to max or to ascend to the next level, it's, um, they'll stop by during, or at least your school ones, will stop by and be like, Hey, wanna hang out after school? Cause there are times when you can just hang out with them and all you're doing is kind of leveling, or just kind of trying to get to where you can level. I don't even know what that said. <laughs> That's the problem. I play this game so much, I'm just in the habit of mashing the button to get out of here. There is she. There you are. Okay, then. heading home. Yeah, she wanna go somewhere? Hmm, okay, I wasn't doing anything to date anyway. Alright, let's go. You stop somewhere on the way home with your party. Um, well, there's something I wanna say to you. What? Um, you probably might not remember, but, um, uh, when you woke up in the hospital, you know, after the dorm was attacked by a shadow and you discovered your persona? Yeah, I remember. You know how I said all those things to you right after you woke up, like you're the same as me, and you're alone, and stuff about your parents? I think I might have been making some assumptions that you know shit. I mean, I lost my dad, but in your case, it's both your parents. And even though things may seem the same, people react to them differently. But I ignored how, how you might have felt and forced my own opinions onto you. I've been worrying all this time that I might have said unfair things to you that day. And I want to properly apologize for it. I'm sorry. But I still do sense something similar between us. We might not like it since the fact that we're both missing parents. Still, I've never had anyone who could understand it around me before. It's different for everyone else at school. They have both their parents at home. They can complain about how they yell at they come home late. I, when I hear stuff like that, I feel jealous. But I hate feeling that way, so I hide it. And because I can't tell anyone that, I feel distant. I felt lonely. So when I heard about you, I thought that you could save me from that. 
We're not gonna have a dead parents club, I'm sorry. Yikes, sorry, I'm being selfish again, I know. But the fact that you're part of our group now makes me feel a lot better. I'm glad you joined us. <laughs> I'm just giving you mad circles at this pity party, aren't I? Yeah, I haven't had any input either. But that's how I really feel. Kari confided in me. He feels if you've gotten a little closer to you, Kari. It's only probably about maxing all the social links you had are the ones for the ones you don't like either. Nanada, the lovers are gonna. You couldn't tell she's going to romance options if you're the dude. It's starting to get a little cold out. Let's go home. I still don't like her. Welcome back. Internet 9, which is ripped apart by the shadow, will be fixed tomorrow. If you have a computer in your room, you should be able to connect. Well, that takes care of everything that was damaged. Except, of course, Akihiko's rip cage. Alright, all this talk about the internet reminded me of something. I was totally addicted to this one online game for a while. It's called Innocent Sin Online, it's pretty fun. I haven't touched it in a long time. I haven't touched it since I got here. Maybe I should log in some. In the original, in the guy's version, he actually gives you the game, So, and that's one how you meet Maya's social link. But, he doesn't in this version, because you don't have Maya. Many of you are eagerly anticipating tomorrow. Due to the Golden Week holiday, the highways are expected to be jammed bumper to bumper. Traffic conditions are expected to worsen from tomorrow until May 3rd. We should expect the road to be, road to be cleared by May 4th. From all of us at Action News, have a happy Golden Week. I think that's like their spring break. Japan spring break. Let's see now. Uh, onward to the cafe. Let's talk to Rikutsuki. How are your explosions of Tartarus proceeding? Good. That's all? Alright. To the cafe! He dealt with the housewives who complained that the pheromone copies had no effect for them. <laughs> Can't help you there, ladies. Today is show a day. There's no school. Your phone's ringing. Yo, Jinbei here. You got some time? Sure. Hey, want to do something today? Yeah, and on the weekends, um, it's mostly, I think, your school. Yeah, like you, the school social links that will and will call you and be like, hey, wanna hang out? Mm -hmm. No. Not today. Sorry, Junpei. One thing that never really made sense for me is like during the weekday, it's like you have parts of school, you can do like your afternoon thing and then you can do your evening thing. On the weekend, it's still like your daytime thing and your nighttime thing. Shouldn't I have like a third slot? <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, to the old people. That's strange. I swear I left it around here, but I can't seem to find it. Looking for something? Katie Chen? How'd you know I was looking for something? Are you psychic? Dude, he just seems surprised. I'm looking for my glasses. No, not my glasses, my wallet. I can't seem to find it. Oh, if you look for it. Wow, Katie Chen, you really can read minds. I was just thinking it'd be nice if someone gave us a hand. Jimpe seemed rather surprised. You search for the wallet with Boonkichi and Mitsuko. Where could it be? Wait, what were we looking for? Konnichiwa, hello! I found this on the ground outside. Is it yours? The mysterious foreigner handed a wallet to Boonkichi. Well, this is it. I've been looking for this wallet everywhere. But it's not a golden wallet, but I'm still happy to have it back. 
Sumi Masen, excuse me. Aren't you the transfer student everyone is talking about? I go to the same school, Gyoko Gan. Uh, nice to meet you. I came here from France to study abroad. My name is Andre Laurent Jean Guerreau. But they call me Bebe. <laughs> I love Bebe. Hajime Mbebe. Hajime Mashite. It is nice for me to do. I work in the home economics room every day. If you could both come by, come say hello. I hope to see you there. Sayonara, goodbye. He's a French weeaboo who came to Japan to study abroad. He's actually really cool though. He's, a, he's also a, on the top of my favorite social links in this game. Well, he seemed like an interesting young man. Mm, I thought I'd put it in my wallet so I wouldn't lose it. Ah, uh, here it is. I knew it was in here. Dear, is that the key for... Come on, dear, you know what it is. It's the key for our son's car. Seeing cottage had remind me of how things used to be. I haven't heard the war of the engine in a long time. How do I look, dear? Please don't. Why must you get into a car? Do you want me to end up all alone? What about a car? Um, Katie Chen. I'm sorry for raising my voice. Did I scare you? Oh, son. Remember what I told you? How he passed away? On the way home for work, he got into an accident. He was hit by a dump truck driver who was drunk on the job. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, Jen, do you slap me? Slap me for being an insensitive fool. With all my excitement, I forgot how to consider how my wife might feel. I'm such a... I'm such a... It seems like Pinkichi feels guilty. Pinkichi and Mitsuku told you the truth about their son's death. Your relationship is stronger now. Sad old people. It's getting dark out. Mm. Why should we let, us, like, let this get us down? Since I found my wallet, why don't we go eat out, dear? Thanks for searching with this kind of chin. Consider this your allowance. Mm, Kichi stuffed the medicine in your pocket. What kind of medicine just got shoved in my pocket? <laughs> Is it your purpose, that son, old man? After saying goodbye to Bin Kichi and Mitsuko, you decided to go back to the door. What's up, dude? Accident on the intersection, over six miles of traffic is backed up. Coming up next, more traffic reports. There seem to be no problems at this section, but the highway in the other direction seems to be packed. Officials believe, are hoping the congestion will be relieved by May 4th. To the arcade! Quiz game. So we can get that academics up. Academics is, I think, the first one we're really setting on maxing. Hey, I'm no longer a slacker, I'm now average. And then I think it's charm and then courage. I think. Let's see, today's lecture will cover will cover the ancient tombs. I don't know, do you think any of this is relevant? I mean, I can make better tomb decorations than the ancients. I can't wait until we get to the Sengoku era. It's so exciting. Speaking of the Sengoku era, there was a general who was called the Warhawk of the Battlefield. The teacher keeps talking about the Sengoku era. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a minute. Stay awake. Falling asleep can make you great, but staying awake increases your academics. Huh, you want to hear more about the ancient tombs? Well, if you insist, study the Kutora tomb in Nara because it'll go on the exam. And they can also we'll drop things about what questions are going to be on the test. Which you do have to answer for the record. Joseph is ringing. Hello, this is Theodore. Please come to the Velvet Room. There is a matter we need to discuss. You may use the alternate entrance located in the Polonia Mall. All you must do is find the door. I'll see you soon. In a minute. <laughs> I have to go pick up my card from... That was not the right choice. Yeah, 
I'll go check out the suit Theodore wants. tell you the truth, there's a favor I'd like to ask of you. If you don't mind, would you please accept my request? Some missions will be special and require you to escort me around, but of course it will be a suitable reward upon completion of the request. I wish to see your strength with my own eyes. Well then, I will anxiously await your assistance in these matters. These are basically additional side quests. Some of them have due dates, some of them don't. I already did this one. Do I have this one? I might. I just buy it if I don't. And Polonia Mall. And some of them, like you said, are dates, basically. Seems you've completed a request. Well done. You've made sure to retrieve the first old document in time. Have you read it yet? I found it quite interesting. You really should take a look at it if you haven't already. Please take this as your reward. B chain. It seems you've completed another request. One moment, please, while I check. My, is that? So this is a muxel drink. It has a rather shocking color. Thank you very much. I look forward to tasting it. Now about your reward. I prepared something you are well accustomed to. I believe it will help you relax, even during battle. Please take this as your reward. Angora sweater. One thing that they definitely improved in the golden uh, Persona 4 golden is that you actually have a separate slot for your costume. Unlike this one where there's costume armor and it's your armor, so and it doesn't always have the best stats. Let's see, I think I'll just grab this one. <laughs> the other two are, I have to wait when I'm in Tartarus to do, so. Go on a day with Theo. Thank you very much. Well then, please lead the way. These aren't social so links and they the don't Polonia take Mall? up time, but they are nice little scenes. Indeed, it's exactly as I imagined. Despite these words, Theo's eyes are clearly glimmering with excitement. Where I don't you? believe that's necessary for you to know. Theo is mumbling. What is that over there? Theo is pointing to the water fountain. Definitely. Aqueous duct in a place like this? Theo isn't human. Just in case you somehow thought he was. Hmm. The dwellers of this world must get thirsty easily. Not for drinking. Um, I know its true purpose, of course. Why, it's meant to wash one's hand. Nope. Um, <clears throat> It was only my small joke. Sure it uh, is. So, what is it actually for? A bit of scenery, I see. Theo seems distraught for some reason. And what, pray tell, is this facility here? Theo headed towards the police station. These photographs, most wanted. Reward, I see. So the concept of subjugation requests is not unknown here. Except we don't kill them and take parts of their body as proof. Well, in that case, you must have to capture them alive. Yes. Only a skilled hunter could accomplish it. Theo is not in trying to If there are hunters of such talent in this world as well, I may want to make a few requests of my own. But on second thought, perhaps not. I already have you, our finest guest, for that. Hmm. What is that? This, nightclub. Could this be club of rumor? You yes, know about it? I heard no end of it. Dancers, dictated by the sway of one's inner passions, a subterranean garden of uninhibited spectacle. So you find out that Elizabeth, who is your assistant if you're a guy, um, you thought we could pick her as well. Um, 
not only are him, Elizabeth, and Margaret all siblings, it's suggested that Elizabeth bullies Theo pretty badly. Well, this marks my first time seeing it in person. Well then, let us venture in. It's closed? It's a this night club. Theo is an utter shock. It seems I have no choice but to turn back. Theo is slightly tearing up. You decide to show him the arcade. Our cave? A series of arches? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let us investigate. Yeah, that's basically what these are. You escort him around, introduce him to the real world. Theo is staring at the crane game played in place in front of the Bird arcade. controlling game? Hmm. The things inside this case. Those are birds? They yeah. look to my eye more like stuffed animals made of cloth. Hmm. It's not like a bird. Is this, then, a simulator to practice catching real cranes? I... no. <laughs> it was lost uh, in thought. Excuse me, I note another aquatic pool over here. Theo headed towards the fountain in the corner of Colonial. Hmm. He seems restless for some reason. He's looking around as well. He abruptly stuck his hand into the water. It's eight degrees Celsius. Is that what you came for? I, I have absolutely no idea what you might be talking about. Sure. Shall we At least he doesn't way? dump boatloads of money to into them. It's like somehow Elizabeth has like a coin purse that just has an endless amount of money in it. And when you take her, she dumps all of it in there. She's heard about the wishing fountain. Hmm. This world has its charms. I would relish the chance to visit it again sometime. Thank you very much for today. You return to the velvet room with you. Thank you for answering my request. Well then, thank you for showing me around the Polonia Mall. I asked my master to install a fountain into the velvet room when I returned. Unfortunately, he refused before I even finished asking the question. I am currently negotiating with him to at least set up a crane catcher machine. Now, as for a reward, I've prepared something special. With this, you confuse Huapo. She is a charming persona combining the looks of a sweet girl with powerful abilities. Please take this as your reward. And yeah, you have to do this so you can uh, do uh, fuse all the personas. Nope, I'm good. Bye. See you later. Au revoir. Thank you. Actually, I'm going to leave it here for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.